In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the definition of continuity at a point. And then, um, after we go through talking about that a little bit, then I'm going to give three examples where F is discontinuous at C based on this definition of continuity. Alright, so let's say the function F is continuous at C if the following three conditions are met. Number one, F of C is defined. Number two, the limit as x approaches c of f of x exists. And the third condition, the limit as x approaches c of f of x has to equal f of c. Alright, now if at any point any three of these conditions are not met, then continuity at c fails. So in other words, f of x would then be discontinuous at c if any one of these things failed to exist. Alright, so for an example, what I would like to do is I would like to um, be using this definition of continuity at a point and I'm going to give three examples where F is discontinuous at a point. And I'm going to take each one of those three conditions and we're going to have them fail. Alright, so in my first example, alright, the first part of that definition said F of C is defined. Alright, well if F of C is not defined, I'm going to have discontinuity at C. So F of C is not defined. Alright, now if I were to sketch a picture of this, I would consider the open interval from A to B. And if F of C is not defined, then that means I would have to have a hole at where F of C is. So if my C was right here, I would need an open hole here. It's on an open interval. So my function might look something like this. Alright, that right there being a hole, and if it is a hole, then we know it is a removable discontinuity. So we have a removable discontinuity. Okay, so that's our first example of where I could have discontinuity um, discontinuity occurring at C. Alright, now for my second example, take that second part of the definition that said the limit has to exist. So if I want to show that it's discontinuous at C, well, then I would have the limit as X approaches C of F of X does not exist. Does not exist. Alright, so um, a picture of that. Again, I would be considering the open interval from A to B. And my value of C would have to occur somewhere in the center right there. Now, for the limit not to exist, the easiest way for the limit not to exist is when the limit from the left and the limit from the right are not equal. So on my open interval here, I might have the limit coming from the left as such and then the open interval on the right coming from the right I might have it like that. Okay, clearly this is uh, showing you a jump right here. The limit doesn't exist because the limit coming from the left as I approach C is a different value than when I'm coming from the right and approaching C. So this would be called a non-removable discontinuity because I cannot repair it. So this is a non-removable discontinuity. Okay, now a third example of showing um, a discontinuity at C. Let's take that third part of the definition of continuity at a part. Um, at a point, and it says the limit as X approaches C of F of X equals F of C. Well, if I had the limit as X approaches C of F of C, F of X, and that did not equal F of C, then I would have a discontinuity occurring. Alright, so again, I'm going to look at it on the open interval from A to B. Alright, so there's my open interval. And I need the limit not equaling F of C. So on an open interval, maybe at C here, my limit equals that value right there. But then F of C, when I would take C and plug it into the function, maybe it equals something like that. So f of c is not equal to the limit because the limit would be at this value and f of c would be down here. Now because this is a hole and I could fill that hole, it is a removable 
discontinuity. Okay, so three um, examples there where I've kind of used that definition of continuity of point and showed you an example where it would be continu uh, discontinuous at C. All right, if any one of those conditions are not met, then that would be what the pictures look like and you would definitely see your discontinuity at C. And two of them being classified as removable and this middle one with being a jump there is the only one that is non-removable. So just to add kind of a, a look at that definition of continuity at a point, all right, and then some counter examples for that. Definitely thanks for watching and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.